Hi friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Analysis for second year ECE students. Today we are going to discuss about introduction to the amplifiers. The first of all, we go for the definition of the amplifier. Amplifier is defined as an electronic circuit which is used to increase the voltage or power or current of the corresponding wire. Now we move our concept towards the types of the amplifiers. Amplifiers are classified based on the corresponding input signal, based on the output signal, based on the stages, based on the coupling elements we are using, based on the frequency that corresponding amplifier is working based on the bandwidth that the amplifier is going to be get increases the strength based on the active devices that we are going to be using and based on the operating point the corresponding amplifier is working initially we move towards the based on input so based on the input the amplifiers are mainly classified into two categories one is small signal amplifier and second one is large signal amplifier. In the small signal amplifier, we are mainly represent that the corresponding input signal is near and around active resistor. And the corresponding input signal in the small signal amplifiers are only few milli volts whereas come to the large signal amplifiers in the large signal amplifiers the corresponding input signal is few volts it means uh, the corresponding input signal based on the input signal the amplifiers are mainly classified in two categories as one is the small signal amplifier another one is the large signal amplifier and now we are moving our concept towards the base on output. Based on the output, the amplifiers are mainly classified into two categories, voltage amplifiers and the power amplifiers. So voltage amplifiers are itself named as small signal amplifiers, whereas Power amplifiers are named as large signal amplifiers. So these are purely depending on the output signal, but for our representation point of view, we are mainly classified the, the corresponding amplifiers in the two categories. One is large signal amplifier, another one is the oh, sorry, voltage amplifier itself as the small signal amplifier, and power amplifier itself is named as large signal amplifier. Come to the stages. If you are using uh, single stage, means in your amplifier we are having the only single stage, and those amplifiers are named as the single stage amplifiers. It means uh, we are going to be using a single stage, and we are connecting the input to the single stage amplifier, and we are taking the output from the single stage amplifier. Whereas in the multiple stages, the corresponding amplifier is going to be having the multiple number of stages connected in cascade one after the another like this. The input is given to the first stage. Input is given to the first stage. Output is taken at the last stage. And in between these stages, we are connecting the intermediate representation or intermediate stages like this. So the first stage output is act as the input to the second stage. Second stage output is act as the input to the third stage. Likewise, n minus one stage output act as the input to the nth stage. This is get carried at the multi-stage amplitude. Now, 
we are moving towards the another representation of the amplifiers over here as based on the coupling as we have already come to know that the multi stage amplifiers are nothing but connecting the stages side by side or connecting the one output one stage of output as a input to the another stage like this while connecting the stages we are going to be using the coupling elements and based on these coupling elements we are make the classification of the amplifiers the first one is the rc coupled amplifier it means in the rc coupled amplifier two stages are connected using a capacitive element this get connected using the capacitive element and this capacitive element is named as the coupling capacitor now come to the transformer couple in the transformer couple the two stages are get connected using a static device a transformer we already known that a transformer is a static device so we are just connecting the stage 1 with the stage 2 by using the a transformer primary of the transformer is connected to the first stage secondary of the transformer is connected to the second stage and due to the mutual inductance between the corresponding primary and the secondary then the corresponding signal is get exchange in between the stage 1 and the stage 2 this is to be named as the transformer coupling now come to the direct coupling where we are not supposed to use any sort of the coupling element the stage 1 and stage 2 are directly coupled one output of the one stage to the input of the another stage there is no coupling element exist between the stage 1 and the stage 2 this is to be named as the direct coupled amplifiers now we are moving to the another concept of amplifier stages and those are based on the frequency so based on the frequency we are going to be make the classification of the amplifier such as dc amplifiers audio frequency amplifiers and the radio frequency amplifiers in dc amplifiers the corresponding signal in the range of 0 hz to 10 hz approximately are get amplified by the corresponding amplifiers in most of the cases we are going to be using the direct couple amplifier now to increase the strength of the signal in the range of 0 hz to the 10 hz whereas in the audio frequency the corresponding amplifier is going to be increase the strength of the signal in the range of frequency range of 20 hz to the 20 kHz most of these amplifiers are rc coupled amplifiers and come to the radio frequency amplifiers the corresponding amplifiers are more than 20 kHz of the frequency or 30 kHz of the frequency you can say in most of the cases we are going to be using the lc elements in order to generate a corresponding radio frequency components here okay now we are moving towards the another type of the classification of the amplifiers we are moving towards the another type of the classification of the amplifiers and those are based on the bandwidth we know amplifiers is nothing but a system based on the corresponding frequency that is get acceptable or pass through the system we are going to be representing the bandwidth of the system similarly this amplifier is going to be taking or is going to be producing a certain band of frequencies based on those bandwidths we are making the classification of the amplifiers as the narrow band and 
wide band amplifiers. In the narrow band, the corresponding frequency response in the narrow band is just like this. So the amplifiers are going to be increase the frequency range of of very narrow or thin region only. This much region is going to get amplified by the narrow band of amplifiers. Whereas in the wide band amplifiers, the corresponding frequency range is going to be far more. So the corresponding wide band frequency amplifiers are going to be like this. The corresponding frequency response, frequency versus gain, if you observe the corresponding low cutoff frequency, the upper cutoff frequency components are going to be produce a large bandwidth over here. So if you observe the narrow bandwidth with the wide bandwidth, definitely narrow bandwidth is going to be narrow band amplifiers are going to be have the very uh, small amount of the bandwidth, whereas wide band is going to produce the large amount of the bandwidth. Okay. Now we are moving towards the corresponding amplifiers. These are classified based on the elements, active elements that we are going to be using in the amplifiers. So based on the active elements, in the amplifier design, we are going to be using the two types of the amplifiers, such as one is BJT, we already know. BJT is nothing but the bipolar junction transistors. And whereas the FET is to be named as the field effect transistor. So, they are going to be having their own characteristics. Based on those own characteristics, we are going to be adapt our required amplifiers in different different application points. We discuss the same in the upcoming sessions. Now, we move towards the classification of the amplifiers based on the operating region. Based on the operating region, we know if you take the transistor output characteristics, the output characteristics, so let us consider we are taking the output characteristics of a common emitter configuration. So this is the IC versus VCE. Over here, it is just like the, the output characteristics are going to be observed like this. And here we know this region, this region is to be named as the cutoff region. And this region is to be named as the saturation region. And this is to be named as this one is represented as a DC load line. And this area is the active region. If the Q point is within the active region and uh, that particular amplifier is to be named as the class A amplifier. If the Q point is in the cutoff region and that amplifier is to be named as the class B amplifier. If the Q point is in between A and B and that is to be named as the class AB amplifier. And if the Q point is below the cutoff region and that is comes under the class C power amplifier. It means uh, all these amplifiers are going to be comes under the power amplifiers only. These all are going to be having the representation of the power amplifier. And then if you observe the class A, class A is going to be producing the 360 degrees of the conduction angle. Class B is going to be producing the 180 degrees of the conduction angle. Class AB is going to be produced in between more than 180, less than 360 degrees of the conduction. In class B, it is less than the 180 degrees of the conduction is going to be accomplished over here. With this, we are going to be stop our lecture over here. Thank you. Thank you once again. Thank you.